Hello, HBO. My name is Jack Dylan Grazer. I'm Jordan Simone. Hi. And we're standing here in front of the Army base on the set of We Are Who We Are. Maurizio Pielati. Uh, little Easter egg. Luca Guadagnino, uh, the director of this show, that's one of his favorite directors. He felt the need to play a little bit of an homage to him, so he named the base after him. Another cool thing is Elliot, our production designer, got a whole crew together and they built this entire base in four months. He built a small city in four months. The cool thing about this is a bus stop that they built and some of the villagers actually mistook it for a real bus stop. And they try to get on it and they're like, why can't I get to uh, Bagnoli? <laughs> and because it doesn't work. Horrible. So uh, without further ado, let's take you on in. Gates open! The show takes place on an army base, as you can see. The attention to detail is off the charts. It's actually replicated from a real army base. The look really made it feel so much more comfortable. It didn't feel like I was in Italy. It looks so American, especially at the grocery store. The pool looks like a community pool that I used to go to when I was younger in Philly. And even the high school, it looks so American and it makes you feel like home. Right next to the checkpoint, the entrance of the entire base, is what we call the village. It's where Frazier and Caitlin and a couple other characters live, so let's go in. <laughs> this is Caitlin's lovely home. These are real baby pictures of me and Spence. Is that actually Spence? Yeah. Beautiful. This house was already here, and they uh, just built on it. This is Caitlin's bedroom. It's one of my favorite places to shoot. There's pictures of the whole cast. I'm there, too. Yeah, you are. And these are all the trophies. Spelling bee, boxing, soccer, most valuable player. I don't know what that's for. Also, you have a voodoo doll? Yes. Who's that for? Frasier. This window is where Frasier and Caitlin often look out at each other. And then it's also reciprocated from my side of that house. I look through my window at her. We really have our most heart-to-heart -heart connections through the window looking at each other. It's really special. And this is a toy. That I should put down. There's a difference between Caitlin and Fraser's houses. They give the best house in the lot to the Colonel, which is respectable. So we're inside Fraser's house now. We have, uh, you know, some, some nice artistic design, and we have some pictures of me, some pictures of my beautiful mothers. A lot of insane stuff goes on in this bathroom. So come on into Fraser's room. He's got some great posters on his wall. He's got Last Hang on Paris, and he's got Blue Velvet and Klaus and Omi. Uh, and if you take a look over here at his wardrobe, it's a lot of high-end fashion. One of my personal favorites from the wardrobe is this Rolling Stones jacket. I think it's by uh, Comme des Garçons. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And so over here by the window, the feeling is mutual. It's reciprocated where uh, I stare uh, from my room into Caitlin's room and we share some unspoken bond. So the pool, um, other than being a great skate spot, it serves uh, a purpose for the soldiers in training. The view from this is extraordinary. See the majority of the base. There's the jump tower. I didn't shoot any scenes up here, but I shot scenes walking over there and then looking at people jumping into the pool. We are at the Kyoja High School. This is where Frazier and Caitlin meet for the first time. It's a very interesting meeting, I would say, but uh, it's cute. A one-sided meeting. Yes. Yeah. Let's go, follow me. This is a trophy case. Fraser doesn't do any sports or anything. And uh, the mascot, uh, the home of the seagulls, which is the lousiest mascot in film history. Thanks, Elliot. As opposed to Fraser, Caitlin does basketball, tennis, soccer. And sit-ups. And it's a lot of sit-ups. Sit Tons of sit-ups. You just spoil the entire show. I know, I'm sorry. 
Right here is the jump tower. This is actually one of my favorite places to shoot. A lot of the soldiers train, so they know how to zip line off of it. And in one scene, the characters do jump off. Keep your legs out straight. Then when you get to the floor, you start running. I got to jump off that big, big, big tower. It's really freeing to jump off of it, for sure. Behind the jump tower is an obstacle course. And the obstacle course is super sick because these extras basically went through military boot camp and became these like actual privates in the army. And they did it all in that obstacle course there. And behind the obstacle course is a football field. Reason! The cool thing about the football field is we had a really huge scene with a bunch of with people. The, the, we shot the inauguration of Sarah becoming the colonel. Actually, there's a cameo of my grandpa in that scene. Yeah. My grandpa has a cameo. Grandpa Jack oh, is in it's there. amazing. He's so it's, cute. it's heavenly. What was your favorite part about shooting in Italy? My favorite part about shooting in Italy, great question. Uh, it, it mixed it up, really. Uh, I sh I've shot in movies in Toronto and Kentucky and uh, all, you know, in North America. And, and I'm so beyond grateful uh, to, to be living my dream in Europe. Um, Euro trip. <laughs> How about you? What was it like for you? It was awesome. Same. For same reasons, I'm really grateful. I'm really happy to be living my dreams, my first ever project ever, and I'm in Italy. I felt really honored. I want to say thank you guys so much for joining us. I know I had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? Too? I had a blast. We had so much fun showing you guys the base, and we appreciate all your love and support. Yeah.